What is going on, my friends? Welcome back to yet another video. And in today's video, we're showing off a spicy auto rifle with a spicy build to back it up. So my friends, if you enjoy some spicy PVP action and some fun builds, don't forget to smash that like button on this video. Last couple of videos, we haven't been getting as many likes as we would like, you know. So if we could smash that like button and hit a thousand likes on this video, I'd be very, very happy. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, join us. We're on the road to 170,000 subscribers. I'd love it if you would join us. So today, of course, we are using the Trials of Osiris Auto Rifle, the Summoner, the Adept. And we have a build here that's making it more interesting. Not only that, we're on Solar Titan in PvP. And, you know, they are an, an endangered species. You're not going to see many of these in PvP. And we're using double primary as well here today in this gameplay. We are here on Convergence in Rumble. SMG auto rifle gameplay. Going to get some shots in on this fella. Where are you going, brother? Let's just double back because something's coming my way. Of course, there is an ability being slung around every corner. So you've got to be careful. Going to try and play this little position here for a little head glitch. Are you going to come and fight me, brother? Are you going to come and fight me? Okay, this is a grenade launcher. Also, with a horde, my worst nightmare. Now we've got a kill with the AR, sorry, the SMG. Now we switch to the AR. Did you see that damage buff? 28 to the head right there with the auto rifle. The summoner adept. I know you guys are very, very eager to see what I have on this weapon. I know, I know. And we will get to that. But listen, but first, I've got harmony on my SMG now. So someone's about to get shredded. Three, two. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. He's just going to throw a grenade instead. GG's bro, GG's. Ooh, there we go. Shredded him. And now we have Harmony on our auto rifle. We also have the fragment that gives you in-air accuracy after getting solar final blows. Look at that shred. And we get increased recovery with solar final blows as well. It's a very, very nice build here. Look at this. You do not send a chance, my friend. This is just a spicy, spicy setup. Cheeky little 10 kill streak here in Rumble. Harmony now on the SMG. Look at that. It's so beautiful, man. It is just a... A fun way to make double primary viable is doing this stuff right here. Again, Harmony is ready on the AR. We've got Perpetual Motion, Alacrity, High Caliber Rounds. I will show you the role in full after this, just in a short moment. But first, we've got a little bit more gameplay here. Some guy is aping me around the corner. I'm not sure what he's got. Melee'd me. Oh, he whiffed the melee. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, teabagging me, even though it gets him killed. They're the most unhinged teabaggers out there for sure. Anyway, before we get back to the gameplay, I do want to quickly show you the setup. So, of course, the star of the show is this Summoner Adept. We've got high caliber rounds, arrowhead break, and a kind of balance for 100 recoil direction, perpetual motion for extra stability, handling, and reload speed. And we have harmony, final blows with other weapons, improve this weapon's damage and performance for a short duration, and alacrity, gain increased reload stability, aim assist, and range when you're the last living member of your fire team or running solo, which we obviously were in Rumble. Now, we have Harmony on the Auto Rifle. We also have Harmony on our Submission SMG. So every time we get a kill with the Submission, my Auto Rifle gets a buff and vice versa. On top of all that, though, we're also using the Path of Burning Steps, which give you a damage buff for Solar Weapon Final Blows or Solar Ability Final Blows. Every second kill and you'll get Firewalker. And Firewalker gives you the same damage buff that Harmony does. So you can either get Firewalker active or Harmony active. Take your pick. On top of that, we have some pretty interesting fragments here as well. Like, for example, Ember of Tempering, Solar Weapon Final Blows grant you and your allies increased recovery for short duration, and you also get increased airborne effectiveness. So it's a really, really nice fragment to use when you're using a solar weapon, and obviously with Path of Burning Steps as well, it is really, really nice. And we also have Ember of Empyrean, Solar Weapon or Ability Final Blows extended duration of restoration and radiant effects. So if I've just healed myself, for example, and then I get a kill with my auto rifle, I'm going to get extended effects of that healing. So that is the build in total. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is a Solar Titan PvP build with double primary. So smash that like button to see something a little bit different in the Crucible amongst all of the insane cheese that everyone's using at the moment. Back to the gameplay. We are back here in this Rumble lobby. We're getting aped. We're going to get that cheeky melee kill. And we are being chased by Unhinged Hugo with the Dead Messenger. Let's go. We love Dead Messenger, don't we, guys? Let's get this guy. Where are you going, brother? Give me that free damage buff on my auto rifle. Here we go. Are you ready? Let me just switch. There we go. How many is ready? If you guys didn't know, how many also improves the handling of your weapon, not just the damage. You're gonna steal that kill there outside that boob lay. Very cheeky. And now, if we so please, we can switch back to the submission. And we've also got a damage buff on that. It's just a fun way to play. Obviously, we're gonna try and get this heavy here, and we get absolute wow. Tether, Tether actually working for this guy. I mean, he traded, but. I mean, normally when I'm in a super and someone shoots a tether at me, I don't expect to die. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know. Tether just doesn't work all the time. But hey, man, congrats to that guy, I suppose. But anyway, now it is time 
to colonize some fools in the crucible so let's go we've hit that guy it's chasing him it's chasing him oh and he's dead oh it was the guy who was teabagging me as well gonna give some back you know we've got to give back to the community you know especially in these times my friends so that's what's gonna have to happen here we've got one more shot of colony oh it's the teabag guy oh my god yo <laughs> that guy with the spider into flying knee combo my friends that is what you call absolutely spicy and there it is cheeky little victory even against some meta spamming andes let's go cheeky little win let's see what this guy was using real quick uh oh, empirical evidence and dead messenger and he lost double primary isn't that a shame <laughs> isn't that a shame anyway to the next game we are on javelin Good old Javelin, a great map. One of the very few very good maps in this game. Again, my friends, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to slap that like button and subscribe if you have not yet already. Oh, that's Osteo Trigger. I hate that weapon. It just always trades with me. Let's get this kill here. Very cheeky. It's just a really, really good flow here. And Path of Burning Steps, again, it's just a nice bonus. Firewalk is always going to kick in every second kill. So if you're staying alive, chances are you're going to get Firewalker. If you didn't know, Firewalker doesn't just buff your solar weapon. Once you have Firewalker active, it's on both guns. So say, say if I proc, you know, Firewalker by using the summoner, and then I switch to the submission, Firewalker is going to buff the damage of my submission as well, all the way up to 25 to the head. If you have harmony and submission together, you're doing big, big amounts of damage. And as you know, it's just very difficult to get away with double primary at the moment. You know, there's so many one-shot abilities and just so much cheese that let me ooh, unlucky that death adder i thought that was osteo trigger that it's hard to make a loadout like this work but we were able to get some good games in amongst a bunch of awful games i'm not gonna lie to you guys rough out here in the crucible everybody is the honor is there's no honor left in pvp anymore everyone is a scumbag now as far as their loadouts go it is what it is but in spite of that i'm still gonna continue trying to use something different for you guys you know use something interesting solar titan in pvp the truth about solar titan in pvp is that it was never that good lowly splendor was a broken exotic for a while ah oh, there's that ah oh, osteo pain man osteo pain you know lowly kind of propped up solar titan for a while but predictably as soon as that was nerfed into the ground uh the entire subclass is really just not that great i i do think that using solar grenades or sorry uh, healing grenades with path of burning steps and your favorite solar weapon might be the best way to play solar titan now because you can empower your weapon in the rare case that you get frozen you can counter that with path of burning steps but mainly it's just all about the damage it's all about the damage pick your favorite solar weapon get in the crucible and go walk on fire my friends that is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did once again don't forget to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video my friends peace out